Welcome to Münster University of Applied Sciences. My name is Carola Stressner and I'm a professor at our Department of Food, Nutrition and Facilities. I'm going to introduce you to a special course we offer to our students. We use our notice boards in the building and we have an online blackboard to inform our students about our course. The course is simply called International Week and it's offered every semester. During the last years of implementing this course, We've been able to host guest lecturers from Cuba, Brazil, Thailand, Mexico and South Africa. We designed the course International Week to teach our students intercultural competences. For this we invite guest lecturers that are specialised in aspects of nutrition and food systems and they come from Europe and all over the world to our department. In our department they work with our students together for one whole week. Through the activities in the course that include cooking together, the guest lecturer has the opportunity to share their scientific research field and their expertise, as well as impart personal insights into their home country and their home culture. Being in a laboratory, we call it a food laboratory, there is um, this idea of experimentation and that's a very good basis for opening students' minds to be aware that they're going to be trying something new. Um, it's more of a learner-centered approach. Uh, we have a good balance in this format between teacher-centered and learner-centered because the students are encouraged to get involved, to become active, to do something and of course a lot of what they do has to center around collaboration and collaboration or working together and working together with people whom you perhaps have not met or don't know much about their culture is a good training ground to learn these intercultural skills and to practice them. I think the benefit of the course design as we do it comes about through the mix or the various mixes. In the course we mix theory and practice we mix professional and personal, and we mix different types of activities. So we have activities that are more passive, where students are in a listening mode, and perhaps a comprehension mode, but there are also activities where they get up and do something, such as in the preparing of food or cooking, or perhaps presenting something that they've researched. The benefit also comes about because the course is uh, concentrated within one week so it's quite an intensive course and through this the students have the opportunity to get to know the guest lecturer and what they bring or represent from their culture and from their country. The activities enable the students to learn about other foods so usually there is a food that will be foreign to them or exotic to them in terms of their own culture or our German food culture. And through the course they learn what that foodstuff is, why it's used, what it's used for, perhaps where it's grown or how it's grown, and the role that it plays in the food culture of the guest lecturer and their country. We take issue with cross-cultural understanding and cross-cultural cooperation. These are key learning objectives that we have in the course. So we use the guest lecturer that comes to us because they come from another country and another culture. Then we usually have a difference in the material that they share with our students, their area of expertise because being a University of Applied Sciences it's often very related to practice uh, and many of the guest lecturers we have have done community work or applied their field of research in community work, for example. So our students get input about how very different situations can be around the world, for example concerning food security or such things as coping mechanisms for people that don't have access to good and healthy food. So they get the input from the person, the guest lecturer themselves, they get input about the guest lecturer's culture, uh, they get input through the material, but then of course there's also the meal itself, which they actually learn about, they learn about the foods, they learn to cook it, and they try it out. So it's really uh, a multi-sensorial -sens approach to uh, trying out to learn 
to live with other cultures. So the course offers many different aspects. It offers opportunities to be creative, to be practical or to get into practice. It has much room for self-experiential parts and in that way it's really accessible to all students because it takes something that they know out of their everyday lives, namely preparing food, cooking and eating, and it brings it into the context of the scientific expertise. I think it was a really nice experience uh, this one week with uh, different lecturers because Onwaba and Angela were really close to us, they helped us. And during the week it was sometimes really exhausting and yeah, uh, tough, tough but, but afterwards we were happy we did the course. We have an underlying idea in the way we do the course that in this globalized world everything is connected. And we as humans are connected across the different countries and regions. And of course our food systems are really globally connected. So we see this attempt at intercultural competence training as an essential part of the competences for sustainable development. Uh, we have real world issues and concerns um, because it's related to eating and drinking which we all of us do every single day.